السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو دس پوڈ کاسٹ آج ہمارے ساتھ ہیں زارا مدنی ویری اسپیشل گیسٹ کیسی ہیں آپ تھینک یو فار انوائٹنگ می آئی ایم گڈ تھینک یو اٹ فیل لولی ٹو بی یور جی اینڈ یو ہیو بین کمنگ ہیئر فار دا لاسٹ ایئر اور ٹو ہیو بین ورکنگ آن مینی تھنگس بٹ یا آئی گیس ایز از دا ٹریڈیشن آف دس پوڈ کاسٹ لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود یور میوزیکل بگننگس I guess, you know, just as a brief introduction, I think many people might have seen Zara on, on Coke Studio. Um, she's been part of several seasons with Rohail Hayat, yes. um, both as a performer and a composer-producer. Yes. So, and other than that, she's worked with Shalom in the past and again currently. Um, and she has a long history with music uh, in the scene. But... Um, Why don't we start with your beginnings, like musical be- beginnings, which is quite an interesting story, actually. Uh, I think I've been singing forever. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can easily say that because uh, uh, when I started singing, I was eight. Mm. And uh, I was lucky enough to come across some amazing teachers and gurus and stars. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's been a, a beautiful journey and it's been a great learning experience for me. And uh, I feel that um, even till this point, mm. I'm learning. So, so that's the beauty of it. I mean, that's <laughs> the hallmark of anyone who's, you know, achieves any sort of level. Is they have to consider that they've never learned everything and you have to keep learning. But in the beginning, you were, you were in India, as I understand. I went to India hmm. to learn. So there's this, this um, misunderstanding. A lot yeah. of people think that I have always been there. Yeah, that's yeah. not true. Um, of course, I am from India and hmm. um, everything. But uh, I went to learn hmm. um, when I was 16. Hmm. So I quit school for a year hmm. and, and I went and uh, to learn um, So was it a particular star that you went to over there or uh, or an institute? Not at all. I just went with a very open mind. Mm-hmm. So and I never plan anything mm. in life. Mm. So um when I got there uh, um my my khala was was actually very very helpful and she said, "You don't worry, I'm going to look for a nice guru for you mm. who can come to the house and teach you." Mm. So was he but maha there's a school called Bal Bhavan Okay. And over there, you know, I used to go often with my khala over there and uh, um, because school was there and there was a lot of work. And there was a lot of work in it's like a done thing in all the institutes in India mm. that early morning they all sit down, you know, outside in the garden and uh, they all sing and they all do riyas. So it's a part of their education. That's how mm. they start their day there. Mm. So I used to often just go there and sit and listen And I kind of, you know, he was just so sweet and so soft-spoken and, you know, I kind of felt really good about him. And that's when I, you know, it just happened. Yeah. She introduced me to this gentleman and it happened that he came to the house and I started learning. And then it happened to me that not that year, but because I used to go to India every year mm-hmm. because my family is there, mm-hmm. as in my my uncle and my aunts are all there. Mm-hmm. Um, I also came across um, the Gundeja brothers at the Dhrupad Academy. So it's the only Dhrupad Academy in the world, okay. which is in Bhopal. So so you do know about Dhrupad, right? So, so there's... I in, actually in, don't so know in, much about Indian plus. So <laughs> as I, I like to also just briefly yeah. talk about it. Um, so Khayal Gaiki and Dhrupad are the two branches of mm. Hindustani classical music. Mm. And um, uh, so, so we... I've like, for example, I have specialized in Khayal Gaiki, which normally everybody has. Mm. They're not many Drupad singers mm. and musicians in the world. Mm. So Drupad is just a very different style of classical music. Mm. Drupad is uh, very, very slow. So Achha. like, for example, um, Khayal Gaiki mein hota hai ke um, um, Vilampat is the slowest rhythm right. pattern. دروپت جو ہے وہ ولمپت سے بھی زیادہ سلو ہوتی ہے ڈو یو ہیو اینی آئیڈیا آف لائک ان ویسٹرن ٹرمنالوجی لائک واٹ کائنڈ آف ٹیمپوز وی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ہاؤ مینی اوکے سو دس از وی گوئنگ اینی ویئر بلو ایٹ اوٹ بیٹس پر منٹ 
that below is, eight. That is like yeah. So it's like really plant le- plant <laughs> life ke level pe amar. Uh, Umair, so I have to tell you this. <laughs> so where when I first <laughs> went to this place to this institute, um, you know, I came across the most amazing musicians because mm. there were there were. There was a couple there. I think they were Italy, so I was there, and um, they were learning to play saxophone. Or saxophone, be uspe drupad ki timing mein. Oh, can you so believe lambe, that? Lambe, lambe songs. Lambe, lambe. So you know, it's yeah. uh, so. So there was a time that my teacher used to say, um, "Ke uh, zara tum jo hai wo drupad sikha karo," hmm. because I was very. There was a small a phase in my life when hmm. I was little. I was very hyper and I yeah. was very fidgety. <laughs> So he used to say you should learn Rupa. <laughs> just slow you, you down. You need that in your life, you know. Just slow down. <laughs> so do you think it, 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 it so had Vilampa, that effect? So Vilampa, Vilampa is pretty slow. Hmm. I never learned Rupa, hmm. but but I was always, uh, um, you know, very inquisitive hmm. about it. Which I was thinking, what is it? So I often used to go to that academy and sit down with the Gunteja brothers for hours and hours and just hmm. see them teach. Hmm. So there are there are three or four brothers I'm forgetting right now and. Hmm. Um, उन्होंने वो अकेडमी शुरू की थी और एक एक और ही इट्स अनादर इट्स अनादर वर्ल्ड एक्चुअली इट्स यू हैव टू लाइक रियली पुट साउंड्स फैसिनेटिंग एंड या असाइड एंड 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 इट्स टोटली काउंटर टू जो मतलब कल्चरली एवरीथिंग इज़ गोइंग फास्टर एंड मोर इमीडिएट एंड हेयर इज समथिंग दैट इज सुपर स्लो डाउन सो इनफैक्ट माय आई हैव मस्ट आल्सो शेयर दिस विद यू माय कजन हुस हुस अ जर्नलिस्ट वाज एट दैट पॉइंट शी वेंट विद मी एंड शी वेंट एंड मेट वन ऑफ द गुरुज देयर एंड सेड के यू नो आई लाइक टू डू लाइक अ कवरेज एंड इफ दैट्स ऑल राइट आई लाइक टू कम एंड टेक सम पिक्चर्स एंड डू एन इंटरव्यू एंड थिंग सो यू नो ही जस्ट टर्न अराउंड एंड सेड नो थैंक यू <laughs> she's like uh, okay <laughs> so you know I, i know i'm not yeah. in charge anything it's just something that i would like to do is whatever yeah. and then they said you know thank you we, we don't want any coverage we are fine with whoever little people that that yeah, we have here and there are still people out there like that exactly so they were not really interested to advertise yeah. um, at all so yeah that's yeah. interesting So then, uh, how much time to just spend in India? I used to go point? there every year. Okay. So whatever I used to, and <clears throat> we used to go for two months at least. So, so for two months, I remember, my guess, my twenty-five days, I used to go there. Used to go there every day. So you know, the the most amount of learning is through listening. Yeah. Right, and through observing. Yeah. I feel. Hmm. So I mean, I just used to go and sit over there, and they were really kind. Uh, you know, they never stopped me from coming. They used to sit down with me. We used to have like long discussions, mm. and in fact, once they also planned this small performance for me. So they That's kind true. of and they and the acoustics are so beautifully designed. You don't need any microphones or anything over there, by the way. Mm. The, the you know just the the um, the place is so beautifully designed that there's a beautiful sound there. The mm. Wahabi I performed for their students and things. So yeah. it's quite. Quite a lovely experience for me. Very nice. So, at what point did you then, like, what was the next milestone after that, um, and musically? Um, so anyway, I ये तो सब सीखने वाला जो पूरा एक दौर था and things. Um, I think the first sort of real exposure to to a studio environment yeah. and to like proper sort of music and things was was with um, with actually with Rohail when I did the soundtrack of Khuda ke liye mm. so that was really the first time when I um when I kind of um, like like truly, straight straight at the deep end basically straight at the deep end well I didn't know at that <laughs> that which end you are at <laughs> I had no idea that Khuda ke liye was would become such a huge hit mm. I just you know I just got a call from Mm, uh, Rohil one day and he said that if you know he said you want to would you like to because he heard me he he heard my voice and right. he had the back of his mind he knew that kisko kisi cheez mein involve karna hai musically and he said so how, he, how did he get exposed to your your voice did had you put something so out have, there or did you no, no, meet no. him so we have a common friend right. shahi uh, ah, from uh, vital signs vital signs so mm-hmm. i was doing some work with shahi at that point okay. um mere jo ustad jo the mm-hmm. ustad zafar ali khan sahab who's mm-hmm. passed away now from the gwalior <laughs> gharana so he was working with shahi at that time and so he was also teaching me so he talked about me to him and mm-hmm. somehow we got 
introduced and right. um, I also sang a few things for one of his um, uh, uh, I don't know he was doing this project uh, in the US right. and so uh, which recordings so I sang something with my Ustad mm-hmm. so that's how it happened so he probably mentioned my right. name to Rohail and then Rohail that's how I went and met him and you know mm-hmm. he heard my voice and all of that so soundtrack of Khuda Akili was actually my first sort of exposure to to a, to a studio environment and to sort of music like that. Oh, wow. So, uh, tell us about that experience. I mean, like, did you know anything about the film, about the script? Uh, were you exposed to any scenes or straight just musically? Actually, uh, we talked about it hmm. a lot because in my anime, everything was just so private and hmm. people were so sort of particular about um, not... For it to leak or yeah, not saying too much about yeah. the plot or anything. So, um, um, so when when that so when I got um, to meet Rohail about mm-hmm. and sort of discuss the soundtrack and mm-hmm. things, so we talked about the movie a lot. So he right. kind of told me about uh, the different scenes in the movie and things, mm-hmm. and of course we also got to see a few of those. Okay. But um, the good thing is that uh, Ruhel's music is just so beautifully designed hmm. that one kind of feels the emotion yeah. when you hear it, yeah. right? So a lot of the scenes were like, um, I never had to really look at the scene as such. Yeah. You could feel it from the music. But, but I could hmm. feel it from, from the music. Hmm. And, um, you know, it was just, I think, very beautifully and very, very naturally flowing through, hmm. through it. Uh, all the alaps and all my improvisation hmm. and of course meri uh, ek natural bhi jo instinct hai or or classical ko kyunki main samajhti hu because i know the ragas and things so it was quite quite interesting and quite easy for me to maneuver hmm. my sort of way into it and nice and so did was there any interaction with uh, shweb mansoor sahab so i met um, uh, mr shweb mansoor at the um, premiere okay. you know so and that was the first time i met him and i must share this with you that he came up to me and he said zara i have to tell you that you have played an extremely important role in this movie and That's you know just nice. the way he said it was yeah. you know i was like so and i was very young at that time mm-hmm. so i was like oh my god he said that to me and you know whatever <laughs> so i was uh, really quite excited about about it and um Yeah, it really seemed that it did have an impact hmm. because even now when the kind of... Um, so I, I put out some of my um, sound bites mm-hmm. on Instagram yeah. and the kind of messages that I'm receiving from people, it's mm-hmm. just amazing. Like this producer in India, uh, Anirudh Varma, and mm. he sort of said that... Um, You know, just the way he's he's kind of expressed uh, mm. how he feels about it is just is just quite amazing. People have yeah. really connected with it. Yeah, and that film was seen by literally millions of people. Millions, you know. So and what a huge hit even in India. Yeah, because yeah, so because we are not hamun ki dekhte rehte hain, but mm. this was the first one that kind of piqued the interest. Ke yahan bhi kuch ho raha. Absolutely, just I think everything worked for it. You know, it's like a what then a packages work yeah. so it was like a complete package like that yeah and I think a, lo- a big part of it is you know post 9-11 world oh, yes. the way that of course everyone saw Muslims yeah so it was important for us to have our own narrative Absolutely. this is who we are this is what it is you know oh, for yeah, us the timing is everything yeah it's the time that it came out like yeah everything kind of synced yeah and I, I really like that scene with Smejo the music being haram while a question oh, yes. is being addressed yes you know i really kind of um referred to that often mm. when people ask me this question yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. um but to uske baad se obviously you got connected to rohail yes um, so how did that relationship then evolve into being involved in coke studio um so khuda ke liye happened and um and and then after that um you know i also started teaching music hmm. so i think i i started teaching music at cas and some years later um uh, rohel got in touch with me and uh, in season 6 he offered me um uh, to feature as an artist hmm. on the season and um you know when that happened um फिर कुछ ये हुआ कि कुछ हमें उस जमाने में यू नो वेन आई मेट रोहेल वी काइंड ऑफ फेल्ट के रोहेल ने कहा कि 
बिकॉज वो मेरी कुछ क्योंकि क्लासिकल सेंसिबिलिटीज वो सब कुछ जो है वी स्टार्टेड जैमिंग अलॉट तो वो काम का जो है ना वो इस तरह से काम बीच में आया तो जब हम लोग जैम करते थे तो उसमें होता था कि हम बहुत सारे अपने आइडियाज जो थे वो रिकॉर्ड करते थे और उसमें ये भी था कि हम लोग का एक ये था कि हम लोग कोई एक राग पकड़ लेते थे एंड वी यूज टू लाइक सोर डिसाइड फॉर दैट राग एंड काइंड ऑफ रियली गेट एन टू इट सो द होल सोर ऑफ द वेस्टर्न सेंसिबिलिटीज एंड द ईस्टर्न सेंसिबिलिटीज यू नो वेन हाउ दे कम टूगेदर एंड वॉट वर्क एंड वॉट डजेंट वर्क एंड वाइंड ऑफ ट्यूनिंग्स वर्क एंड so I always had good ear so I think he also kind of took on to that and mm. um, बस वो ये होता था कि हम लोग जाम करते थे हजारों आइडियाज रिकॉर्ड करके सो दैट एट दैट पॉइंट ही सॉर ऑफ आस मी इफ आई बी इंटरेस्टेड टू बी पार्ट ऑफ यू नो दैट द थीम इज वेल एंड फिर वो ही क्या आई बिकेम द क्रिएटिव हैड एंड यू नो आई स्टार्ट सोर ऑफ ट्रेनिंग द बैकिंग बुक ले सो उन लोग हम इस पर काम करने लगे फिर बस इस तरह से कॉम्पोजिशन से हुआ ये था कि सीजन सिक्स में सीजन सिक्स से पहले वी यूज टू बिकॉज वी टू जैम अलॉट एंड वी टू रिकॉर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ आइडिया सो लॉट ऑफ द सॉन्ग्स दैट केम टू आस वी कुड पुट इन अ लॉट ऑफ आवर वर्क एंड आर जैम्स एंड आर एवरीथिंग इन टू दोज सो लॉट ऑफ सॉन्ग्स केम आउट ऑफ दैट सो आई थिंक नीर भरन टू सम एक्सटेंट केम आउट ऑफ दैट फिर उसके बाद आई थिंक असद एक सिंगर ने बहुत जबरदस्त क्लासिकल सिंगर उनका भी जो कोई गाना जो आया था आई एम फिगेटिंग राइट नाउ इट्स जस्ट रियली लॉन्ग लॉन्ग बैक सो 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 वन ऑफ द सॉन्ग्स केम आउट ऑफ दैट एंड and season 6 had a very different approach a very different compared oh, yes. to what he was doing in the first five so for right? me it was my first season so of yeah. course i had not seen the seasons before that hmm. but of course it was a very different season and it hmm. was all shot in a studio like this and yeah. um, and a lot of music was recorded yeah. abroad so how what was your interaction in terms of collab you know inter- communicating with the different teams in the different countries like were you involved in that part of it or was that Something yes i think well. definitely i yeah. was i was definitely involved uh, in all of the, those processes because mm-hmm. uh uh matlab hota ye tha ki i i can tell you how it used to really happen mm-hmm. rohel used to make uh, all the music before hand like a demo basically like a demo yeah because he's also very particular about uh, about uh, his arrangements yeah right so the way he works he is, when he is making a song he's definitely arranging a song hmm. like nobody else is arranging it right so which like arrangement ka jo process hota hai i think that is a make or break of you know mm-hmm. anything i i feel ke usme jo jo aapki jo tunings ki jo sensibilities ja rahi hoti hain usi se jo hai wo beauty nikalti hai to wo ek pura ek wo bana kar and then he would share it with with the musicians abroad yeah and wo phir apni of course the the main skeleton was this mm. which with the basic arrangement and then they used to throw in their little fields and their little trinkets of you know yeah. their sort of playing and yeah. their uh, sort of expertise into yeah. it basically so yeah. um usme phir uh, like for example um abroad i feel jo unki jo choral sensibilities hain wo badi khoobsurat hoti hain matlab pakistan mein they may be like a, very few musicians who who actually have yeah that. generally for us a basic good like good or feel hoti hai na like i don't want to say anything but it's exactly yeah. that yeah so when you introduce that usse jo ek emotion jo jo introduce ho jata hai gaane yeah. mein wo uski koi aur hi baat hoti hai it's got it's all about colors and flavors yes, no yes exactly you yeah. know so uh, so it's also a different hmm. and you know a different kind of appeals right yeah तो वो बिकॉज हमारे यहाँ एक एक है एक सर्टन हमारा एक स्टाइल है प्लेन का विच इज़ ब्यूटिफुल बट समटाइम्स इट्स ऑलवेज नाइस टू काइंड ऑफ यू नो सोर ऑफ ऑल्सो एक्सपीरियंस अ स्लाइटली डिफरेंट फील एंड साउंड फ्रॉम अदर प्लेसेज बट उसमें एक और एक कलर और इमोशन आ जो आ हो जाता है that's how it uh, used to happen wo log phir baja ke bhejte the and of course pe yahan pe royal also um, uh, likes to mix um, his his own yeah. music and songs for yeah. sure yeah yeah so i mean going on from that like uh, obviously after season 6 it, it goes to your moved yes. to strings yes. production yes. so 
but i uh, believe you can continue working i continued with working Rohail. with Rohail, yes because On i was now things. i was learning so much yeah constantly learning from him yeah so uh, wo i didn't stop because i did have a chance ki main aise chalo yahan se nikal jati hu kahin aur chali jati hu maybe i'll start teaching again or go into you know music and whatever but i don't know that i felt that was the phase in the time in my life when i was in, you know i wanted to absorb as much as possible and learn mm. because i kind of felt that you know it was for me um it was like an institution right so mm. like and like I, in fact at my interview with bbc i asked him about it yeah. and i told him exactly the same thing it was like an academy of sorts because yeah. being with working with rohail you're constantly learning Hmm. even though agar aap music bhi nahi kar rahe hain aur agar aap ek bed ke because rohail is also very different a mind so even yeah. agar hum documentaries dekhte the to there's so much that you learn from that and yeah. you know because he's also really into plants so you hmm. kind of pick up so much from that and food and everything so you know it was yeah. like an experience for me yeah. so he also started doing a consultation for coke studio international in right. that phase in that period so it was it wasn't like you were not working because mm-hmm. we were usme phir ye hota tha ki i stayed and and worked with him <coughs> and um usme tha ki hum log research pe baat karte the different mm. jagahon ki did jo jo countries ki um, jo hai wo uh, uh, ke liye royal was working we used to do a lot of research and study a lot of their music and uh, so it was quite interesting so so, we, so our, i mean i'm not that familiar with coke studios uh, productions in other countries hmm. i mean ek do maine dekhe but from all of those other ones hmm. which did you find the most like interesting or captured your attention in a way and i guess related question which you can elaborate on hmm. uh, which is why is it that the pakistani one seems really? to have really yeah. taken okay, so, off so so uh, could i be like really honest yeah, yeah. um for some reason um you know i i don't know why but but i kind of do feel that uh, something quite didn't work hmm. in 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 all these other regions yeah that's the feeling and, i get uh, yeah i mean i i feel the same way yeah but in fact it was only recently that i um i heard coke studio bangladesh hmm. some of the recordings and i really felt that was really nice hmm. you know i kind of could feel that there's 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 this essence to yahan ka hai in into some yeah. of their sort of mm. music so i kind of really felt it was but hui hota hai na ke um i think it's all honestly really a game of uh, of of tunings and of of uh, of bringing the scales together yeah and, and that having was... that producer director type of person that's giving it a, a focus Bilkul. you know wo wo ek i think wo sari jo uh, ek uh, jo ek feel ki baat hai na wo mujhe lagta hai wo to some extent jo hai wo um wo missing thi hmm. it was like the missing ingredient in yeah. in other uh, regions and places where they did cook studio mujhe ek ye feeling aayi thi that of course uh, uh, in india uh, you hmm. know when they did a coke studio some of the songs were very beautiful hmm. and they really took on and you know people really loved them hmm. but um jo pakistan ki baat thi hmm. wo aur hai wo i think wo mujhe nahi lagta ki duniya mein kisi aur jagah mein wo wali huh. ek uh, baat feel um, hui hai or i mean even uh, personally i feel that like after season 6 I didn't really watch Coke Studio. <laughs> a because, lot, lot of you people. You know, I got into it because of mm. Rohail's aesthetic mm. initially, um, and I thought season six was nice in terms of its experimentation. But after that, you know, maybe it's a matter of personal mm. taste. But I don't think that uh, you know the whole. In a way, I felt like the it lost its identity after that. Hmm. um because it kind of became a little bit bollywoodized um even visually hmm. like very like brighter hmm. whereas the royal seasons were much more moody moodily yes. lit you know darker yes. with like little highlights here and there Gee. and that really lends itself to that pakistani feel that hmm. we're talking about yes. i feel yes. you know actually pata hota kya hai ki um 
لیکن ہر انسان کی اپنی ایک ٹیسٹ ہوتی ہے اور وہ اپنے اس کے حساب سے کرتے ہیں رویل کی اپنی ایک ٹیسٹ ہے اسٹرنگز آئے تھے ان کی اپنی ایک ٹیسٹ ہے پھر یہ پھر پھر تو اس میں ہوتا ہے کہ بٹ یس جو اس کی آئی ووڈ کائنڈ آف اگری ود یو ہیئر کہ جو اس کی ایک ایک اوریجنالٹی تھی جو ایک ایسنس تھا دیٹ ہول لائف سور آف فیل اینڈ دوز سائٹلی سور آف موڈی یو نو ان ٹرمز آف اٹس lighting and music yeah, yeah. so that that kind of uh, essence was not there yeah um, i mean i think i f- uh, i may be wrong but i feel like a lot of that comes from um you know the producer the rohel as a person it i feel like is much more able to command ke you know this is my vision hmm. and this is the way i'll do it or hmm. not going to do it hmm. basically hmm. you know and putting that front up to the financiers to the brand etc yeah ke you know if you're giving it to me then let me do it yeah he is he is very particular about that yeah. i mean no one dictates uh, their terms and conditions to royal he's, yeah. he's very sort of thing that you know this is how it's going to be huh. <laughs> so and if vai baat ho jati hai like i'm i personally am very critical of in general the the scene in pakistan where these you know my bottle manufacturers mm. are essentially driving the direction of music mm. but rohel is one example where he took the money mm. and enabled himself to carry out what he wanted to do yes this it. is totally you know? his vision yeah. totally even in terms of like um, i've seen him um uh, be part of pretty much everything that yeah. that was happening right so yeah. even with the set design and the you know because he had these you know sort of images and diagrams in his mind and mm-hmm. he kind of uh, he made sure that if he's whether you know if he's is drawing a, a diamond or a or a circle or a square yeah. in in the season so that that is all um, sort of everything is intentional everything is intentional yeah it's because he is also a visionary right so yeah. he's kind of I mean he understands frequencies and yeah. these Deeply, concepts yes. right whether it's visually or you know the shapes you're showing the symbols you're showing the light colors so it's all connected the music scales yes. the rag yes. what it emotion it's eliciting it is all they all need to be aligned aligned and connect connect yeah. yes absolutely so even so i got exposed to 432 in um the uh, um 432 hours actually we can talk about that a <laughs> yes. bit i mean season 6 wasn't season 6 in میرا تو بیکاز وین آئی میٹ روہیل فار دا فرسٹ ٹائم ہی واز آلریڈی ورکنگ اراؤنڈ دس فریکوینسی ایکچولی جسٹ ٹو گیو دی آڈینس سم بیک گراؤنڈ دس بیکاز از ناٹ اے ٹاپک دس جنرلی kind of known so most uh, music jo western music hai aur jo pichle uh, let's probably since the 1930s ban raha has been aligned um, standardized to f- a note being tuned to 440 hertz and a lot of research if you get into this suggests that if you tune to 440 hertz is actually dissonant with the human body and the natural scale of the environment around the plants and everything uh, whereas 432 hertz is aligned with that in the math- mathematically and based on frequency or it's may you can you just if you're on youtube right now obviously just google 432 hertz nikola tesla he did a lot of work to do with it um, and it's very fascinating but coming back to this yes. you know no one before rohel as far as i'm aware was so that was implementing my, this yeah exactly so for me it was the first time I, that i got exposed to it yeah. and um, i mean i kid you not uska ek asar hai i mean as yeah. much as you yeah. you kind my of my guitar is tuned to 432 right uska ek apna ek asar hai aur khuda ke liye mein bhi bahut sare jo hamari ye jo soundtrack hai maybe i think 432 par hi acha interesting hua hua hai اور بہت سے ہماری جو جیمس اور بہت سارا جو لاٹ آف میوزک دیٹ دیٹ روہیل اینڈ آئی ہیو ڈن ٹوگیدر از بیسڈ ویری مچ آن دس پرٹیکولر فریکوینسی سو 
مطلب چیزیں منگوانا بھی فور تھری ٹو ورڈس میں از ناٹ ایزی ہاں لٹرلی بنوانا ہوتا ہے بکاز جب میں نے اپنے ہینڈ ڈرمس لیے فرام انڈونیشیا یا سو آئی آئی واز ان بالی اینڈ آئی فاؤنڈ اے اسٹور لائک دس فیمس پرکاشن اسٹور میں اس کا نام بھول رہا ہوں دے آر لاٹس آف ڈرامس اینڈ ہینڈ ڈرامس اینڈ در بکاز اینڈ ایوری اینڈ I got an ha- a hand drum from there, but it was tuned to 440 hertz. But store wale, you know, logo se mene puchha ke ye locally hi banta hai, manlab kaun manata hai. And they gave me the address mm-hmm. and number of this guy who was making these hand drums. And literally I booked a car and went two hours, two hours like this, the volcano, the main, main volcano. Oh, wow. there. And literally in this village, This, this is in Bali, right? In oh, Bali. I think I've been to this yeah. place. Right, so there's yeah, this guy yeah, in this exactly village yeah. building hand drums and mm-hmm. he has like a assembly line of hand drums. Wow. And then I asked him, can you custom tune mm-hmm. to 432 hertz? Then he did? And he did and, and it's funny like I, he had these serial numbers on each one that he made and mm-hmm. so he was in his 2000, 3000 hand drum mm-hmm. but he was like The ones that he made for me, he made two for me, were the only ones he had ever done in 432 Hertz. Wow. So which is fascinating, like surprising to me yeah. because hand drum music is often played by people who are into these yes. things, yes. but they hadn't, no one Amazing. else had thought to do and it. And I've heard your hand drum, so. <laughs> yeah, and we, we, have, we <laughs> actually we've, have so a track uh, that's Omer coming out. Omer and myself have, have jammed many times and. Yeah. So yeah, and. and This, the most beautiful hang drums and the most beautiful sound to it. Yeah, and I think it's very important that they're each tuned to a particular scale. Yeah. And since you have that understanding of scales Ji. and tuning, so it naturally kind of elicits a yes. you know, response. Yes, of so, like, moving on from, from Coke Studio, like, what are some of the other more interesting projects that you've been part of? Um, so from the ones that that are known as mm-hmm. uh, so I, i just kind of briefly mentioned those um uh, there's the the park sound pavilion mm-hmm. the, the way expo track which rohail did mm-hmm. i have been a part of that as well um i'm one of the singers and uh, i also composed that mm-hmm. part and i was creatively involved in that project as well nice so did you get a chance to visit the No, unfortunately, we, you know, we kind of planning at one hmm. point that we should all go and see what it's like hmm. and everything. But unfortunately, it didn't happen because hmm. there was other work happening. We were also, you know, still working on the record label at that time. And right. fortunately, that didn't happen. But uh, yes, so we did do a lot of work on that. So you hmm. never know one day that might uh, surface. Surface at some <laughs> point. So that and... Um, Uh, what else uh, national anthem what are the re-recording of the national anthem so mm-hmm. i was i featured as one of the main artists on that yeah and i was also one of the vocal coaches um then we did um, actually national anthem project hmm. we see we can discuss Did like you? what was like the creative vision behind because it's a big responsibility hmm. to you know be given or to get the chance to do so what was as a team like what were you trying to achieve with the redoing of it so jab hamare um, i mean when it came to rohail mm-hmm. this project and so we often used to um, you know have these discussions ki hame you know how do we do this and whatever yeah. rohail was you know often used to sit down and uh, sort of ask all these running questions ki isko kis tarah se karenge kya sound hai so you know we always used to talk about this ki could it should not be what it is hmm. because we also got into the tunings of it you yeah. know this is not um pa- uh, park sar zameen shad bad is not um, is not at all an eastern tune hmm. you know what i mean it's hmm. it's not to usme jo hai ki to uski jo ek puri composition ki jo feel hai usme aapko harmony sunai deti hai aapko usme counter sunai dete hai usme aapko ek very much a western style of composition absolutely yeah. so 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 kind of the pehle to wo cheez sorted okay na ki yaar ye isme ye sab kuch to leke aaya we have to bring in the harmonies we have hmm. to bring in the counters and all of that 
So, um, uh, so I was actually the first person to record the demo. No. <laughs> so nice. yeah, I can sort of say that nice. as the first <laughs> artist. So I did the demo recording, and then um, you know, subsequently, other people also came in. Yeah. Uh, Vajia, who was yeah. a very dear friend of mine, Vajia Nakhi was also working for with us at. Mm-hmm. Um, Cook Studio, the Nimra came, Nimra mm-hmm. Rafiq, she recorded and then Nimra uh, in fact introduced us to a whole lot of vocalists who uh-huh. came uh, and recorded. So that's how it kind of happened. Though I think, uh, I think vocals say you feel and then of course Mr. Arshad Mehmu was also very much a part mm-hmm. of it and he's also pretty well versed with the, the Western yeah. sensibilities and you know harmonies and everything. तो उनकी तरफ से फिर उन्होंने भी कुछ मतलब कुछ रिकॉर्डिंग्स उन्होंने हैंडल की थी मेन हमारी जो डेमो रिकॉर्डिंग थी वो सारी मेन जो वो उन्होंने की थी नेशनल एंथम वाज रिकॉर्डेड इन इस्लामाबाद एंड इट वाज अ ह्यूज ऑडिटोरियम वेयर वी ऑल यू नो गॉट टुगेदर एंड वी सैंग टुगेदर सो जस्ट द होल फील ऑफ दैट इट वाज जस्ट सो ओवरवेलमिंग एंड जस्ट सो ब्यूटीफुल जब वो सारे इतने सारे लोग जब खड़े होकर एक साथ गाते हैं तो एंड इट वाज अमेजिंग हाउ रॉयल एक्चुअली कैप्चर दैट बिकॉज उसकी जो एक एनर्जी थी सो दैट वाज इन वेस्टेड दैट वाज ऑल काइंड ऑफ नाइस सो ही काइंड ऑफ गॉड ऑल दोस माइक्स एंड थिंग्स एंड एंड वी कैप्चर दैट एनर्जी एंड फील सो सो दैट वाज नेशनल एंथम वाज अ ग्रेट ग्रेट प्रोजेक्ट टू वर्क ऑन क्या कहते हैं एंड देन आई मीन यू रिसेंटली लाइक जंप इनटू समथिंग एल्स कंप्लीटली but you've recently been working with shalam again yes so um shalam ke sath abhi uh, so i curated a chunk of uh, the wow festival women of the world yeah uh, the the women of the world yeah. festival and uh, which happened very recently mm-hmm. and um it was amazing so i came across uh, these beautiful girls at uh, the idru school for the blind and deaf mm-hmm. and so so when i so i just Wanted, so I was having so the lead curator of Wow, mm-hmm. Women of the World, uh, Amne Sheikh. So she's also my student. Uh-huh. So um, anyway, so I um, uh, when I met her and we just she, she said Zara, I want you to just get involved. Yeah. There's something I want you to do on this project, and um, I was like, fine. What, mm. what what do you want me to do? Mm. You know, I'm a singer. I'm a teacher. Mm. Um, and and um, I mean, I can also arrange and produce. Yeah. Anyway so she said um that um you know would you would you be because sometime back I I also curated this uh, event called Bazme Sor at the Indus Valley School of Art and Architecture yeah and over there um so this girl came from mm. the same school the Idru ah oh, okay Ananta her name is and mm. she sang um Matan ki mitti which I taught her mm-hmm. सो वहाँ से ये बात वो ये जर्नी जो थी वो तो उस वक्त एक यू नो वेन यू मेक अ नियत डूइंग समथिंग सो एट दैट पॉइंट आई यू नो आई कैन ऑफ सेट यू नो आई वॉन्ट डू समथिंग विद दिस बंच किड्स एंड एनी वे सो वहाँ से स्टोरी ये निकली कि अच्छा चलो अनमता आई थी अनमता के साथ और कौन है so mm-hmm. i was quite inquisitive to kind of go to the school and listen to other students as well yeah. and when i heard those girls i was blown away mm-hmm. like who naturally gifted it sari ki sari and of course mm-hmm. they have a teacher and things but but naturally you know you can tell yeah. they're all in tune yeah. so and uh, then then i decided that you know i would just do something with them and mm-hmm. um, then yeah when this this opportunity came along i i was uh, um i was thrilled and mm-hmm. i started training them so i started going to the institute and i started spending a lot of time with those girls yeah aur usi ke sath ye jo hai afghan refugee camp ki kuch bachiyan thi to unse bhi i got a chance to sort of visit there we uh, jo uh, urban cohesion hub hai aur wahan pe ja ke maine then i trained those girls so it kind of all came together beautifully and for this project then i got in touch with shalam because of course i needed the musical help and i needed yeah. to put a band together yeah acha band hamara already tha mm. because i was doing some performances with shalam and khalid and aur uska bhi ek history hai because you did a track with shalam years ago uski history yes i did i did payam for yeah. which i won the the best singer award at the lux style awards mm. and so um, yeah सो वहाँ से एक हिस्ट्री मारी एक चली आ रही थी एंड शालम वॉज वेरी अपसेट एंड एंग्री विद मी बिकॉज यू सेट आप मेरे साथ काम क्यों नहीं करती हैं सो दैट्स ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आपके पॉडकास्ट में पूछा था 
کہ آپ نے کیوں نہیں کام کیا تو اس کے اس کے اوپر بھی آتے ہیں بٹ یہ ہوا تھا کہ تو پھر شاہ عالم کے ساتھ آئی واز آلریڈی ڈوئنگ سم پرفارمنسز وی پرفارم ایٹ امیرکن کونسلیٹ ایٹ ناپا وی ڈیڈ اے پرفارمنس ایٹ دا آلینس فرانس ہے اینڈ سو وی آلریڈی ہیڈ اے بینڈ سو ایک بینڈ کی شکل میں ایک چیز آلریڈی تھی تو میں نے بس وہ وہ کٹ اینڈ پیسٹ والی چیز انرجی فلو تھی کنیکشن تھا سو وی کڈ ایزلی کائنڈ آف ورک ٹوگیدر آئی کمپوز ٹو سانگس اور میں نے شالم کو وہ گانے سنائے میں نے آسم رضا سے لیرکس لکھوائے اور میرے دماغ میں ایک ایک ارینجمنٹ ایک تھی جس طرح ایک ہوتا ہے سب کے یو نو سو آئی کین آف ہیڈ سر آف فیل ان مائی ان مائی ان مائی ہیڈ آلریڈی فرام بفور تو وی جسٹ کائنڈ آف یا وی پوٹ اٹ ٹوگیدر جب سب ساتھ ہوتے ہیں جب سب میوزیشین ساتھ ہوتے ہیں تو ان کی اپنی ایک انرجی فلو کرتی ہے اس کی اپنی فلو فیل نکلتی ہے سو دیٹس ہاؤ اٹ ہیپن ممبرس آف دا بینڈ بن خالد خان jamming a lot yeah. and we have put put something together and uh, i think very soon all of you are uh, yeah at least one thing is coming out one thing is coming or out. it might be out when you watch this i'm, <laughs> not, sure. I'm not sure i guess in China. but uh, no i think the 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 thing is it's hard to find talented musicians to both hmm. you know but but among those the people that understand space and jaga ki kis jaga pe aana hai aur mm. kitna wo therao mm. se you know kaam karna hai. that's rare because that's people rare. want to show everything that they can do mm. in every piece that they put out you mm. know and that's not like you know it's not going to necessarily get feelings across of course, um, of course. and feelings require space and you know تاکہ وہ سیٹل ہو سکے بالکل سو آئی فائنڈ دیٹ از ریئلی اپیلنگ ان دا وے یو گو اباؤٹ یور میوزک اینڈ سم آئی ایم آلویز لکنگ فار تو اٹس نیچرل آئی گیس کہ ہمارا وہ بنتا ہے تھینک یو سو مچ اینڈ لائک وائز آئی کین یو فیل دیٹ اباؤٹ یور میوزک از ویل اینڈ یور پلینگ اینڈ آف کورس دس دس دیٹ کنیکٹ اینڈ وی کین آف ہیو دا سیم ٹیسٹ دیٹ از جسٹ سو امپورٹنٹ اینڈ کمنگ ٹو دیٹ آئی تھنک آئی ایم گو لنک دس ٹو اے لاٹ آف کوشچن دیٹ پیپل ہیو آس می So um, we've been, you know, asking our audience for suggested questions as well recently. And we have a bunch here for you. So I'm just going to tell you who will ask the question and then tell you the question. Um, this guy, Imam. Is it? I, I, <laughs> I am Amin Ghaffar okay. is his screen name. All right. Um, and he has a few questions. Hmm. The first one is, Um, what was your experience of Payam with Shalom and is, are you planning to do another one with Shalom by as if it was nice hmm. too? I think we've just covered yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, Payam was a very interesting experience. Tha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and main, I think a lot of people have heard this story. That when I first heard Payam, a common friend, Nariman, uh, mm-hmm. Mushan Sari's daughter. Mm-hmm. So, she's, she's, she's a very dear friend of mine and she's also Shalom's really good friend. So, yeah. she, in fact, she's been, she was after my life. She said, Chalo, Shalom, کے ساتھ تو میں کام کرنا چاہیے کون ہے شالم اور یہ تو اس سے جو ون ڈے شی جسٹ ڈرائگ می ٹو ہی اسٹوڈیو اینڈ شی سیٹ کہ یو یو بیٹر ورک ود ایم ایسے روکے 
फिर शालम ने मुझे गाना सुना दिया तो मैंने शालम से कहा आपको इससे मुश्किल मेलेडी नहीं <laughs> बना सकते थे आप सो आई जस्ट आई फेल इट इट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट सॉन्ग टू सिंग एंड बट आई लाइक इट आई सेड कि मैंने शालम से कहा बहुत अच्छा एनी वे तो उन्हें कहा प्लीज आप गा दें आप आके रिकॉर्ड कर दें वो तो फिर वन डे इवेंचुअली वो दिन आ गया कि yeah. हमने वो गाना रिकॉर्ड किया एंड द डे वी रिकॉर्डेड द सॉन्ग शालम वॉज नॉट देयर बिकॉज शालम है टू गो प्ले क्रिकेट Ah, right so, so, that, so at his studio it or? was at his studio and he called me and mm. of course i was all excited to to yeah. kind of uh, you know sing this track and um, anyway so he said uh, could you please record this you know i really need to go play cricket but please record the song and go <laughs> <laughs> i was like uh, okay you mean maybe bhi koi tarika hoga kaam karne ka i said yeah. fine sure yeah. i have no issues I, i'll do it Yeah. And I did. Of course, मैंने दो तीन दफा गा कर और मैं वहां से चली गई थी सो दैट्स हाउ पाई आम एफ एंड दैट इज दैट इज अ फनी स्टोरी अच्छा नो दर क्वेश्चन वाई यू सो अंडर रेटेड आई मीन आई डोट नो आई थिंक इट्स जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ इफ आई मे लाइक यू नो लाइक पर्सनैलिटी से भी बहुत फर्क पड़ता है दस पीपल दैर आर रियली लाइक working hard on the entertainment factor of, actually yeah the persona yeah, actually, whereas you are much more of an artist i mean i have to i have to like the work i do yeah basically it's hari baat hui hai i have to enjoy the work i do hmm. i have to really like the work i do and um, like for example i'll give you an example um if i don't like a song i can't sing it hmm. i just can't आप नाजी हसन का वो जो गाना है आओ ना प्यार करें वो गा दें तो पहले तो मैंने उनसे कहा कि आपको कहाँ से लगता है कि मैं ये गाना गा सकती हूँ <laughs> you know i mean please don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with the song mm. i think it's a beautiful song mm. i love nazia's voice and i love her songs i think yeah. she's a phenomenal artist but uh, you know that is not me mm. aao na pyar kare is not me yeah right yeah somebody else can do justice yeah. with it but yeah. i can't yeah it has to fit your vibe and it has to energy fit my yeah. vibe and my feel and they were at that point i promise you offering me a huge amount of money mm. right and i just i walked out of their office they called me to a meeting and hmm. and, and you know i just said i'm sorry yeah. this is no way that i can sing this song yeah i mean so, this is of course your personality as well but how important do you think it is um and also for you know cuz you're a teacher and you have students how important do you think it is to kind of get that across to to singers and to performers and artists ke you have to consider what you are performing and singing and whether you as a person um sync with the message in it or the vibe of it you know don't just do things just because you're getting paid for it so so, so let me explain something here hota ye hai ki dekhiye main ek khud ek is cheez mein believe karti hu that um, an artist should be versatile yeah you know a musician or a singer or vocalist if you are versatile then then you kind of grow hmm. right uh, and i'm you know i mean i would love to try out new things as well yeah. but only in the <clears throat> capacity of uh, of what i'm being able to connect myself with yeah. or feeling that connection yeah uh agar aapko like i have for example there are so many other songs that i can uh, that i'd love to sort of sing and they hmm. they're not really me no yeah. बट कोई ना कोई कनेक्शन तो या तो वो स्केल का कनेक्शन हो दैट यू आर कनेक्टिंग विद स्केल राइट द रॉक दैट इज और यू आर कनेक्टिंग विद द वर्ड्स और यू आर कनेक्टिंग विद द विद द म्यूजिकल फील और समथिंग इन दर यू नो यू हैव टू मेक दैट इफ यू नॉट कनेक्टिंग विद एनीथिंग then it's a big no no then mm. you don't like it right mm. so you can never really yeah perform. and that will come across in whatever you try to perform of course of that and know. singing may the most important thing is 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 expression yeah 
वो एक अलग बात है कि मुझे लगता है कि एक्सप्रेशन भी एक टेक्निक है बिकॉज दैट्स हाई बिकॉज आई एम ए टीचर सो सो आई काइंड ऑफ डू फील दैट इन दिस यू नो नाउ दैट दैट आई हैव हैड सो मच एक्सपोजर टू इट एंड आई हैव दैट अमाउंट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस आई डू फील दैट गाने में जो एक्सप्रेशन होता है वो एक्चुअली टेक्निक होती है राइट hmm. तो right? so, आप अगर उस टेक्निक को समझ लेते हैं hmm. तो आप उस गाने को परफॉर्म कर लेते हैं hmm. जिस तरह से उसको परफॉर्म करने की जरूरत है रिलेटेड एक पॉइंट है कि डोंट यू फील के ऑफन पीपल हु डोंट नेसेसरली हैव द टेक्निकल नो हाउ और इवन हैव अप्रिशिएशन और केयर फॉर इट they end up putting out something hmm. and something about it connects hmm. to people hmm. and that becomes popular but yes. the effect that it has in a way is like detuning the audience on a mass scale yeah you know because it's not properly tuned hmm. it's not properly connected hmm. it's not properly performed hmm. but the message somehow is getting through hmm. so it's like kind of cheapening the ears of people and making it difficult for them to then appreciate something that I has the connection well yeah. that happens that's yes. why a lot of um a lot of the songs as as you must have uh, observed <laughs> <laughs> you know they just become huge or yeah. it's that's to dekha jaye to yeah uh, it's like in a, in a sense it's appealing to the lowest common denominator you know because wo primal because, instincts because, selling you know but i think ye bhi to hota hai na ki unki unki life bhi shayad इतनी नहीं होती वो एक सर्टन पीरियड के लिए तो वो एकदम हु हु हा होता है उन गानों के बाद हां लॉन्जेविटी फैक्टर फिर बट देन दे यू नो दे डिसअपीयर या यू नो या बट देन ही कांट चले जाते फ्लैश इन द पैन टाइप सिचुएशन बट द क्लासिक्स एंड द सॉन्ग्स दैट वी नो यू एंड आई काइंड ऑफ कनेक्ट विद आई मीन यू मस्ट हैव यू मस्ट हैव नोटिस दैट दे दे ऑल लिव दे स्टे ऑन या या एंड दे ग्रो ओवर टाइम यू ग्रो ओवर टाइम एग्जैक्टली सो एंड एंड दे नेवर आउट दे नॉट दे दे ऑलवेज kind of they never outdated hmm. you know they or they always kind of no. uh, come across as the sound of today yeah so because because why was it because like time in a sense uh, you can say is an illusion what exists is the frequencies Absolutely. and if you are kind of in sync with those frequencies oh. they'll be relevant across time across time you know? yes so another question is um Why don't you sing for Pakistani drama OSTs? Mm. For exactly this reason. Agar koi aisa OST aayega mere paas jisse main connect kar lungi to main baghair soche ga dungi isko. Mujhe koi problem nahi. Now nowadays so I write I, I'm I'm kind of getting really um um interested to sort of learn um and experience the, the hybrid sound yeah. for example so I, i'm really not one of those i'm i'm not rigid no. with, with anything in life mm. hang on for that so mm. uh, those one has to you know one has to be adaptable adaptable yeah. and one has to flow through whatever yeah and find that balance so uh, so i'm i'm quite intrigued and i'm quite keen to to kind of delve into that sort mm. of whole musical sensibilities and mm. you know the the electronic music and everything yeah. so um to baat ye aa jati hai ke um agar koi koi cheez hai jo bahut because i have a certain kind of voice yeah. you know i have that a lot of people have said that you know aapki badi sensual si awaaz hai whatever to wo awaaz hai mujhe lagta hai ki agar uska ek sahi connection electronic music ke sath ban gaya to wo ek badi khoobsurat koi cheez ban sakti hai bilkul i do feel that yeah and uh, i'm also very keen to to kind of experiment yeah. on um, over there for yeah. sure i mean i think that's an important distinction also like you know to be able to play organic instruments hmm. well you need to spend a lot of time with the instrument right yes. so wo ek natural like barrier aa jata hai bilkul but with electronic instrument you press a button something happens hmm. and so often those of us who are more into organic and uh, you know instruments we put off by electronic music hmm. because and i think this is kind of making me think a re- reason for that might be that the people making that electronic music have actually not spent that much time on their craft they're exactly. using the software yes and rather than the software is kind of using them in a yes. sense rather than yes. them using the software yes. so 
there are people out there yeah. um, that do electronic music much more kind of finessed and can generate that feel of course so that kind of hybrid would be very interesting very beautiful yes and i have heard yeah. some music which is really beautiful yeah and uh, you know because you know i like to listen to music uh, yeah i mean like time. hans zimmer's soundtracks i mean there's of course he gets big orchestras yes. and everything yes. but of course. but he has massive synthesizers and his background is in synthesizers and stuff and that's all electronic in fact you know? um, um royal introduced me to this amazing uh, um producer um, like manish demo i don't mm-hmm. know if you've heard any of his work but uh, you know he's, he's sort of inclined towards a lot of mantra music and mm. that sort of feel so i mean what what beautiful work he's doing i'm i have become like a huge fan i need to check it out oh, please do he's 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 great so coming to our next question we have a few actually okay so the next question is from marzi panzi <laughs> um she keeps messaging me no oh, okay she's she's asking i want to ask her do you feel upset there's a whole generation of kids into rap music who were not even born when payam came out and who have not discovered your music and also do you think the local industry can bring re- how do you think the local industry can bring real music back that appeals to the tiktok generation but also lets artists make music for the craft and not trends hmm. also what have has kept you from being more commercial because you've worked in big shows and movies and you're not out a bit in big name but you've kept a low profile so, so, there's, so there's a lot of things in that the yeah. first thing is about um the so, new generation okay so um <laughs> I I'm not upset <laughs> <laughs> with anyone in this world. <laughs> so, um So I do believe in in sort of moving with time. Yeah. You know, when new things happen, it's always nice. Yeah. New is always good. Mm. Change is always good, right? Mm. So so there's absolutely nothing wrong with 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 the the rap mm. and um with so much more new stuff that's happening musically, right? Yeah. So I am a firm believer of of finding that balance mm. between the new and the old. Mm. Right? Find that balance. So which is why I'm also like a little while ago I was talking about how much I am myself so keen to explore the hybrid sound. Mm. So kind of bring in the two. I mean, I thought khud bada shauk in fact ke um you know I I want to I, I want to work with a rapper. Yeah. Like you know with my kind of style of yeah. laughs and things. Yeah. and bring in a rapper mm. i think it would and of course not because ke but koi usme jo jo wo words be jo rap kare nahi ha nahi has to have weight has to have that weight yeah. it has to have that uh, appeal that connect mm. so mm. so i may also just be in fact i am working on a song and and, and i do intend to to introduce rap in that nice. so uh, so so this lady's name is uh, marzi panzi marzi Yeah. Pansy. I don't yeah. know what to call you. But um <laughs> so so thank you so much uh and uh, you uh I know that you've been following me and uh, and my work and uh, mm. thank you so much for that. So as I I do feel that um so there's there's nothing wrong with with finding that balance and with with trying out new things but of course agar aap mujhse puchhenge ki mujhe kaun si sound zyada appeal karti hai to i i like i like the live sound because mm. i've been associated with producers and musicians mm. who have uh, who who've been working with the live sound and i've been exposed to it so i i have a connection with it right yeah. so so that's so so any day Uh, any day i'd love to go for a live song but i'm also very very game to 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 sort of delve into the electronic music feel as well mm-hmm. the second part of her question was what's kept you from being more commercial even though you've been on big shows etc but you have a low profile i think it's because of my taste in music mm. i like uh, i like a certain kind of music i like a certain kind of sound and uh, and of course ab ab jis tarah se movies hain ya osts hain somebody comes and says ki aap hamari movie mein gana ga de and mm. if i connect with something you know yeah. with, with something in the song that they want me to sing mm. whether it's the words or it's the the feel of the music or it has some depth i think i i'd happily do it yeah yeah um there is another question from hannibal lecter 
Perdesia from CS 2020 is my most favorite song from Coke Studio ever. Hmm. What was the thought behind it? Thought. So, um, Perdesia actually came out from one of our jam sessions. Royal hmm. and myself did that every single day of our lives. Hmm. We used to make at least 15 songs a day. <laughs> and uh, at least. And uh, this would be because you're always in that creative space and we would make songs and we would decipher songs and we would make songs and we would record songs. So I have 150 songs now. So they are there now. I don't know. Maybe they will come out again. तो तो उसी में से परदेसिया भी आया था फिर वॉज इन परदेसिया इट वॉज ऑफ कॉर्स कॉम्पोजिशन एंड द कॉम्पोजिशन काइंड ऑफ फेल्ट लाइक लाइक इट हैज दैट इट हैड और हैज दैट फीलिंग ऑफ लॉन्गिंग इन इट सो सो वेन वी स्पोक टू द द लिस्ट मिस्टर आसम रजा वी एक्सप्लेन टू एम कि दिस इज वॉट वी फीलिंग एंड दैट्स वॉट ही फेल्ट एंड दैट्स हाउ यू नो द वर्ड्स Right, came, came about, about the names and the words. Yes, of course. Interesting. Um, kya kehte hain? Uh, one suggestion from my side, if you would consider to work with Kavish, as you think you can both make mm-hmm. an amazing vibe for your listeners. Thanks. I guess you're familiar with. Yes. Yeah, so I'm. I'm. So they're all my family. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I was very, very close to Nayar Aunty, Nayar mm-hmm. Anur. Um, I think. I am her only student. Hmm. She's only ever taught me. Or मैं घंटों उनके पास बैठती थी for hours and hours. I I would sit down with her, and she used to teach me. Yeah, so and for those who don't know, नहीं 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 ना नहीं ना नहीं ना नहीं ना नूर नूर साहिबा was the mother of Jafar. Jafar and Nadi Ali. So yeah. Nadi Ali is a very dear friend of mine. Yeah, and. Um, And so is Jafar. Jafar and I used to, um, but they're like my family. Yeah. Um, I'm very close to them. Mm-hmm. Jafar के साथ तो मैं अक्सर गाने भी गाती थी बैठ के. Mm-hmm. और um, just then I remember it was my parents' anniversary and he played the piano and uh, um, and I sang with him and uh, so you know we were very close. And Nayar Aunty came and she sang uh, so at my parents' anniversary mm. and so it was that kind of mahal. So I'm very close to the family and you just never know. I, I just really might end up doing a song with with Jafar Mehrzaki. Nice. You Jaffer. might get your wish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. The big question: When's your album with Rohail releasing? Oh my God! And what have you learned working with him? <laughs> what have I learned working with Rohail? Hey, we covered a lot. a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot. I have learned a lot from Rohail uh, because yeah. I mean I've known uh, Rohail for the last fifteen years. Yeah. So you can imagine the kind of yeah. and he's also a very dear friend. So when you spend that kind of time together with somebody, you learn so much and you yeah. pick up so much. And there's so much about tunings that I've learned from him. There's so much about perfection hmm. that I've learned from him and how to bring about that. फिनेस इन टू योर वर्क सो आई थिंक मेरी सिंगिंग का जो भी स्टाइल भी है वो भी बहुत ज़्यादा रिफ्लेक्ट करता है रोहेल के म्यूजिक से बिकॉज वो स्टाइल इट कैन इफेक्ट इन लाइक अ ग्लव राइट सो 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 डेफिनेटली दैट इज सो मच दैट आई लर्न एंड वट एल्स वेल वन इज कमिंग आउट आई गेस You would have also learned that perfection takes its time, yeah. and when it's so ready, I, I do. I, 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 inshallah, I let's you know. see. मेरे ख़ाल से ये दो lives होती हैं ना हमारी. हाँ. वही life before yeah. death and life yeah. after death. Yeah. तो इन दोनों lives में किसी life में तो आ जाएगा. Inshallah, it's worldly life में आ जाए. Inshallah. I hope so. Um, I hope so. Shayan Faisal. Uh, who is a big fan of music in general and our channel great guitar player he asks um been a fan since payam and my question is what's your favorite artist that you've dreamed to work with i guess mm-hmm. someone that you haven't worked with yet um oh my god i haven't really thought of this I mean, this could be course, uh, so could many. be my could god. be anyone or doesn't necessarily yes. mean pakistani um You know when I heard uh, um Tu mera dil tu meri jaan mm-hmm. by Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan sahab ji I uh, kind of you know felt that oh my god this producer 
<laughs> I would work with him. Yeah. So it's uh, so yeah. I'm 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 a huge huge fan of uh, of both of these producers of mm. Peter Gabriel and uh, what's the other one? I keep forgetting his name. Um, um, Michael Brooks. Michael Brooks. Yeah. So 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 these guys are amazing. I mean the kind of sound they produce, the kind of music that they've made. Yeah. So I've always had this sort of, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, no harm in dreaming. Yeah, of course. I mean <laughs> you have to dream it for it to even yes. have a chance of happening. Right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think that's all the questions we have from people, and it's been a pleasure having you. Thank and you. Thank you for sharing so openly thank on you. so many thank things. Thank you so much, and thank you for inviting me. And Most it's always welcome. a pleasure to to uh, to talk to you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And if you haven't heard Zara's music, please check her out. Um, obviously, she's done several tracks on Coke Studio, but also she's performing often these days with her band um, uh, and the band's name is Ravi as we call it yeah yes <laughs> so watch out for their shows and do check out her things and like share subscribe comment whatever you want down below let us know your thoughts and we'll see you next time thank you thank you